JLG Industries presents unique characteristics for the compact crawler. You will learn about the machine's characteristics and how they work. This video is to supplement the operator safety video and the operation and safety manual. You must not operate any machine until you have read and understood the manual and have completed training under the supervision of an experienced and qualified operator. The JLG Compact Crawler is a boom lift designed to fit in tight spaces while providing extended elevated access. Several characteristics make operating this machine unique from other boom lift models. It is important to understand how the machine functions work to ensure safe and proper operation. The machine has three power source options, combustion engine, electric motor, and lithium battery. One machine configuration will have both a combustion engine and an electric motor. The other configuration will have a lithium battery powering an electric motor. To start the machine, you must turn on the power source using four switches. The first switch is the battery disconnect switch. This controls battery power to all components and must be turned on to operate the machine regardless of power source. You do not need to turn it off unless the machine will be stored for an extended period. The second switch is the combustion engine ignition or lithium battery switch, depending on the power source. The combustion engine ignition switch is used to start and operate the combustion engine when the emergency stop switches are pulled out. This switch varies between the Honda gasoline engine, a Hatz diesel engine, and a Perkins diesel engine. The Honda engine also has a pull start in case the starting battery is low on voltage. The combustion engine ignition switch must be turned on to allow operation of the electric motor. The lithium battery switch acts the same as the engine ignition switch but is located on the battery box. The third switch is the emergency stop switch on the ground control station. This switch must be twisted and pulled out to operate the machine from the ground and remote control stations. The key must also be vertical or removed completely. The fourth switch is the emergency stop switch on the remote control station. Twisting and pulling out this switch powers up the remote and allows you to start the desired power source. To operate the machine, you control the functions at the ground control and the remote control stations. Use the ground control station to operate the aerial functions for pre-start inspection and emergency lowering. To operate, turn the ground select key switch clockwise and hold. Use the remote control station to operate the ground and aerial functions. After turning on the machine, the remote will go through a pre-operational check. If the battery disconnect switch was turned off, this check may take a few extra moments to complete. Wait until the appropriate display icons load before operating. On the remote control are icons that indicate various functions. The outrigger automatic buttons allow you to retract or extend all four outriggers at once. The outrigger manual button allows you to select which outrigger to retract and extend, operating one outrigger at a time. The track width adjust buttons allow you to widen or narrow the tracks. To save wear on the tracks, only use this function when the outriggers are set or when the machine is traveling. Although they will adjust while the machine is stationary and its weight is on the tracks, it is not recommended. This feature is only available on the X550AJ and the X700AJ. The emergency lowering button allows you to lower the boom if the engine power is not working. The speed selector button allows you to adjust the machine's engine speed. The service button allows you to access the service menu. To sound the horn, press buttons 5 and 6 simultaneously. If the service mode appears after sounding, press button 9 to escape. The preheat engine button allows you to preheat the engine during cold weather. It is either a glow plug for diesel engines or a choke for the X390AJ. The engine starter buttons allow you to start or stop the desired power source. The platform level override key switch allows you to manually adjust the platform level position. 
On the left side of the remote is an LCD display with eight display positions. Each position indicates machine status during various stages of operation. The reduced operating area icon indicates the outriggers are in the reduced operating mode. The capacity icon indicates how much weight is allowed in the platform, 300 pounds or 136 kilograms when the jib is elevated, and 440 pounds or 200 kilograms when the jib is fully stowed. A load cell on the platform monitors the weight. If you exceed the allowed capacity, the overload icon appears on the LCD display and functions are restricted. The engine icon indicates the selected power source. If there is an X displayed, the engine is off. The speed icon indicates the selected engine speed. Although each model has the same three icons, the setting varies among them. For the X390AJ, the engine speed is set by a manual lever on the engine itself. Changing the speed at the remote only affects the optional two-speed hydraulic motor, not the engine. Turtle and N both mean low hydraulic speed. Rabbit means high hydraulic speed. For the X550AJ, it may have the optional two-speed hydraulic motor. If it does, turtle means low engine and low hydraulic speed. N means high engine and low hydraulic speed. Rabbit means high engine and high hydraulic speed. If there is only one speed, the hydraulic speed will remain on low. For the X700AJ, turtle means low engine and low hydraulic speed. N means high engine and low hydraulic speed. Rabbit means high engine and high hydraulic speed. The outrigger icon indicates the outriggers are properly set and the machine is level. This icon must be present before operating any aerial function. The closed bracket icon indicates the jib is stowed, the telescope is retracted, and the turntable is properly aligned. If this icon is not displayed, the ground functions and outriggers will not operate. The stop icon indicates one of the emergency stop switches is engaged. The battery icon indicates the state of the lithium battery, if equipped. The warning icon indicates the emergency lowering mode is active. On the top of the remote control or levers, the two red levers allow you to control the driving and steering of the tracks. Operating them simultaneously in the same direction drives the machine forward or backward in a straight path. Operating them individually or in opposite directions steers the machine. The levers in the middle allow you to control the booms, jib, turntable swing, and platform. The X390AJ does not have platform rotation. Refer to the Operation and Safety Manual for more information on the remote control station. The remote is operated in three positions, in the designated holder in the platform, out of the holder and connected to the platform cable, and out of the holder and connected to the ground cable. When operating in the platform, you have full operation of all controls. All functions are operated from the platform. The foot switch controls power to the function switches. To start the machine, your foot must be out of the foot switch. To operate the controls, your foot must depress the switch. If it is not depressed, or if it timed out before attempting a function, the foot switch icon will appear. There is a 7 second timer once you depress the switch. If you do not operate a function before the timer expires, you will need to depress the switch again. When operating with the remote control out of the holder and connected to the platform cable, you can only operate the drive, track widening, jib, and outrigger functions. Operating in this position allows you to maintain a safe distance while loading and unloading the machine and while driving on steep grades. Keep a minimum distance of three feet or one meter from the tracks. The jib will operate to increase the approach angle for loading the machine or climbing grades. However, 
The jib will only move if the weight inside the platform is less than 88 pounds or 40 kilograms. When operating out of the holder and connected to the ground cable, you can operate all of the functions. You must turn the key switch counterclockwise when connected to the ground cable. There are four outriggers that stabilize the machine. They must be set before operating any aerial function. Before setting, the turntable and frame indicators must be properly aligned, and the close symbol must be present on the LCD display. You can set the outriggers while in the platform or with the remote out of its holder. If operating out of the holder, you may not have a clear view of all four outriggers. Use extra caution when setting them. On the X700AJ, the outriggers have two areas of operation, full and restricted. The full area of operation allows you to operate all functions. The restricted area of operation restricts the swing and jib functions. The platform will not swing over an outrigger, allowing you to operate in tight areas. The jib will not move if the platform is swung outside of the restricted area. Although you can still have the maximum capacity in the platform, the reach and height are reduced. To set the area of operation, lift the locking pin, move each outrigger into the desired position, and lock into place. Refer to the restriction charts in the operation manual for the various positions. The outriggers can be set automatically or manually. To set the outriggers automatically, press and hold button 7. This sets all four outriggers at once. As soon as all four touch the ground, a light on each outrigger will illuminate. On the X700AJ, the lights will flash if in the restricted mode. The machine then goes into an automatic leveling system. As it levels the frame, the display will show the weight icon. Continue to press and hold button 7 to complete the auto level function. When completed, the display will show the OK icon. To set each outrigger manually, press button 2. Press button 7 to extend and button 1 to retract. Press button 2 again to select another outrigger. After setting all four outriggers, make sure the bubble level is in the green area. The outriggers will set up on an uneven, firm surface, but the outrigger pads must be horizontal. Check the operation manual to verify how many degrees the outriggers will level. Do not set the outriggers on soft surfaces. After setting the outriggers, you can operate the track widening function. JLG recommends extending and retracting the tracks when a machine is elevated on the outriggers to minimize track wear and to prevent surface damage. JLG also recommends driving with the tracks extended to maximize stability. Only drive with the tracks retracted when traveling through a narrow space. When driving on side slopes, Fully widen the tracks and extend the low side outriggers until they are close to the ground. This helps prevent a tip over if a change in surface occurs. The drive function cuts out when the outriggers touch the ground. The operating envelope is affected by platform capacity and jib position. For example, on the X700AJ, if the jib is elevated and the capacity is 300 pounds or 136 kilograms, the height will be the full 70 feet or 21 meters with a reach of 36 feet or 11 meters. However, if the jib is stowed and the capacity is 440 pounds or 200 kilograms, the height will be 63 feet or 19 meters with a reach of 31 feet or 9 meters. Refer to the operation manual for your model's load and reach chart. The manual descent system lowers the platform in the event of total power failure. Refer to the operation manual for each model's location and instructions. 
The machine has a key for bypassing the platform safety systems. Please refer to the operation and safety manual for specific instructions and situations where the bypass key may be used. This section must be read and understood before using the key. To drive through narrow areas, you may need to remove the platform. First, remove the remote from its holder, but leave it connected to the platform cable. Unscrew both caps on the platform support pins. With the aid of an assistant, lift the empty platform off of the pins. A double-person platform weighs approximately 100 pounds, while a single-person platform weighs approximately 70 pounds. Drive the machine through the desired area. Replace the platform on the pins, then secure the caps. Understanding how these characteristics work is essential to ensure safe and proper operation. Do not operate any machine until you have read and understood the required manuals and have completed training under the supervision of an experienced and qualified operator. JLG Ground Support, reaching out to help you meet your potential.